Welcome back to Roy's Bean Scene. Today is episode three. Here in the studio, we've got four new drinks to try out for you guys. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. We're super pumped. Henry and I also, we're doing the April specials. That's what we picked. April specials. Uh, two of them are April specials, and then two of them are other, I guess. <laughs> They're just regular drinks, but they should be, they should be really good. So which one do we want to start with? Let's start with the pink flamingo. The pink flamingo? What? Okay. <laughs> so this is the pink flamingo. It's uh, Italian cream soda with strawberry, strawberry, raspberry, and vanilla flavoring. Yes. So let's... But instead of heavy cream, we're using oat milk. So exciting. All right. So cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. I like that more than I expected to like it. <laughs> I'm usually one to like a cream, Italian cream soda with heavy cream. And I was, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I was very skeptical <laughs> about, about the oat milk. But I actually think this works. It's I think really it would, creamy. Yeah, I think I would still probably get the heavy cream. Yeah. But I like this. I like it too. It's, you know, it's definitely not coffee, but <laughs> I like the flavors. It's nice and sweet. <laughs> I really like it. Um, I'll start off the rankings. I'll just, um, I don't want to rank it super high because it's, I know it's not a coffee drink, but I'm going to give it an 8.7. <laughs> okay. Um, I was going to say like a 7.6. I'm going to give it a 6.8. Do you like it? Yeah, it was pretty good. It was like different. <laughs> sure. You know, I like that it's like kind of carbonated, but. I I've been like really into Italian cream sodas lately. I did not realize that you could get multiple flavors in one. Yeah, it's genius. I really like it. Um, and yeah, I agree. I was hesitant about the oat milk, but it's not bad. So I'll give it a solid eight point two. So we have our other April special. This was a raspberry white chocolate mocha, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can get this obviously hot or cold, but we we thought this would taste really good cold. I have really high hopes for this, um, probably because our assistant coach just had like a fruity coffee um, the other day, and she said it was amazing. So this one this one's for her. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. after the last one that this one had coffee in it. <laughs> I don't really taste much raspberry. Really? It's like all in there. Oh. I'm not getting much raspberry either. <laughs> I'm getting the white chocolate. I'm getting the the, the coffee taste. Yeah. And it's, re it's really good. I can't decide I like what I'm it. tasting. This is probably my favorite iced coffee I've had so far. This is a solid iced coffee. I'm, I'm usually a fan um, more of a fan of the hot coffee, but it's really refreshing. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's where I'm getting the fruit. Yeah, I I don't get like raspberry specifically, but I get I something get fruity. fruity. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, I agree. I haven't had one of these. Okay, I've never had one of these iced. I haven't had a raspberry white chocolate mocha since like freshman year, <laughs> and I think I might start getting them again because <laughs> I forgot how good they are. Oh, so ratings. Rankings. Ranking. Um, I like this more than the cream soda, which I don't know how comparable they are. Comparable, is that a word? No. Um, but I did like it more, so I don't know. I think this is one of my favorites so far, I agree. I'll give it like a 9.3. Oh, wow. Dang. I'm yeah. feeling generous. <laughs> this is probably my favorite iced coffee I've tried, so I'll give it an 8.4. Yeah, I think I'm going to go, I was similar to Henry, I was going to do an 8.3. I'll give it a 7.4. Okay. <gasps> Alrighty. Also, with all the low balls now, It was better than the, the <laughs> Italian cream soda, but... So 
So now we're trying the hot caramel macchiato. With oat milk. Last week we did the iced caramel macchiato. So, yeah, changes. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's tasty. <laughs> I definitely get the oat. Yeah, I'm I was eating the say, oat. It tastes so I feel fun. like I'm eating like like a, like, <laughs> like I'm eating like, like nature the Valley oat bar. Nature Valley <laughs> bar. Yeah, Nature Valley bar. That's perfect. It's also this is partly on our doing of waiting since when we got these. We probably got these coffees like a while ago. So this is just not very hot anymore, which yeah. I hate. Like room temperature coffee. <laughs> I hate it. Like, I won't drink it. So, that could be skewing me, but I, I, this has to go for like a 6 2 for me. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to give this I'm an 8.0. Oh, wow. This is your highest of the day? Wow. Mm -hmm. I really like the caramel flavor. Um, but yeah, it's nothing amazing. I thought the ice version was better. Give it yeah. the benefit I'll of the doubt. I'll give it a seven point nine. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I like the ice version better, and I like the caramel. I just, it really does taste like a nature valley <laughs> bar, <laughs> which like is fine. I like those, but I don't know if I want that in my coffee. So I'll give it. I don't know. It's not bad. I'll give it, give it a seven six. Okay. So we're drinking a regular mocha, mm -hmm. um, and I've been told that a mocha is a latte with chocolate, and a latte is milk and espresso, so we're drinking steamed milk, <laughs> is it steamed chocolate milk, or is it steamed milk, steamed milk with, with espresso and, and chocolate. chocolate? Okay, so we're drinking a mocha. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Cheers. That's not winter, like last. Uh, yeah. This is already just way better than the caramel macchiato to me. Like yeah. this is just so much better. It tastes like hot like, chocolate. It does. It does taste like hot chocolate, but you also get caffeine. Woohoo! And there's a um, coffee flavor to it. There's still mm -hmm. some coffee in it, yeah. And I'm still getting oat milk, like we did all of these with oat milk, but it's not to like the extent of what I thought was in the caramel macchiato, which I think is nice. It's just there, it, like adds something, but it's not like overpowering the mocha. So I, I'm gonna give this like an eight one. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. I, I agree. It tastes like winter, and I really like it. I think it's a little bit too much, not too much chocolate, but I wish there was more coffee taste to it. Yeah. Like if you had like an extra shot of espresso in there or something. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Two yeah. shots of espresso. <laughs> Two shots of vodka. The mochas are usually like my go-to, so I do like I do like it. I'll give it like a yeah, like an eight two. Nice. So yeah, this is really tasty. I enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it an eight point eight. Wow. Oh. To me, it tastes like Nutella. I don't know okay. if that's just like the that combination could be the of like oat. So it's kind of like hazelnut. Maybe we should try a hazelnut mocha next time. Oh, we that would try be the different good. flavors of mocha. <laughs> we should. So I'll give this. I'm gonna go with an eight eight. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty good. Is that tasty. your highest of the day? It is. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that wraps up our coffee scores. We'll put up rankings from today, and then we'll also put up total show rankings of every coffee we've tried. Uh, <laughs> All right, thank you guys for tuning in for episode three of Roy's Being Seen. Tune in for our next episode, and thanks, have a great day.